Yeah, hi there, Jen. We are here safely in the center divide on the 10 heading eastbound right now. And just take a look at the impacts of this Greyhound bus here. You can see it crashed into the center divide there, injuring 20 people. That is up from the initial report of eight people who were injured. We don't know exactly how many people were on board, but we are hearing reports right now that 23 people are still here on scene, not injured. And another bus has been requested to take those people off of this scene here. Now, Cal Fire Med and firefighters are here and I've seen a number of ambulances coming through as well at least five of them we're told have been requested the extent of those 20 people with injuries uh, the extent of their injuries is not known at this time Cal Fire saying that varying levels of injuries with those 20 patients that have been taking to the hospital and police tell us that a car was involved in this crash with the bus. Take a look there at the ground. You can see all of that broken glass shattered covering the scene. CHP investigators here taking measurements and photos, trying to figure out the details of how this crash played out. And take a look over here to the left here. You can see the traffic impacts as well right now here on the 10 eastbound. One lane right now does remain closed for about a mile or so. So you can expect a slow go heading into the valley here from the west and I do expect to be able to speak with officials here on scene soon so stay with us as we continue to learn more about this Greyhound bus here crashing on the I-10. We are live tonight near Cabazon. Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3.